So we are four days out from the Xbox Series X July showcase and I definitely have a few things to share, some positive and some negative. Hey what is happening guys, this is Orca from Orca's Gaming Corner and welcome to another week of gaming news. The conference started with Microsoft showing Halo Infinite with a CGI trailer of Master Chief's armor and how they crash land and right off the bat I did not like the animation of the way the pilot spoke. It looked cringy and more like a caricature than anything realistic. After that they moved into 9 minutes of gameplay demo. Now of course I am happy that they showed some gameplay and the game was supposed to be running at 4K 60fps which I did confirm later on watching the 4K footage. That is all fine. But look how dated and flat the entire world of graphics looks. The graphics look terrible for a marquee title like Halo which was supposed to be running on this beast of a machine which the Series X is supposed to be. This looks bad compared to games that released in the last few years. Heck, games like Destiny 2, Witcher 3 which released long back look way better. The textures look so sad, the lighting seems to be from the early 2000s and there is so much visual pop in when Master Chief is riding the Warthog that this is a legitimate mic drop moment for Microsoft, just not in the way I thought it would be. Microsoft themselves have titles like Gears 4 and Gears 5 that look at least 10 times more polished and better in every way and that ran also at 4K native 60 FPS on the Xbox One X. So I'm confused as to why this looks so shitty. I'm just blown away by the amount of incompetence and especially taking into account that Halo Infinite is one of the most expensive games of the generation with a budget of $500 million with around 1200 developers actively working on it. Of course, Aaron Greenberg from Microsoft was quick to point out that it is a work in progress and there is a ray tracing patch that will be released later. And I say that is all good, but as far as I know, ray tracing does not improve textures and facial animations and the dreadful pop in, so I'm not sure how much that helps. And the best thing is that there is no ray tracing for the Xbox One X, and the majority of people who play are on One X. So let's just move on from the sad story that is Halo. Okay, I'll keep it short. I'll talk about the things that I like, not about every small game that comes out. For that, I'll share the link in the description below so that you guys can check it out yourselves. I was really excited to jump on the Halo Infinite bandwagon, but MS has just left a sour taste in my mouth for now. I'll still play the game because I'm a Halo 2 fan. But getting new console for just Halo Infinite is definitely not warranted. Now, Stalker 2 was shown in the form of a teaser trailer and that is a timed exclusive for Xbox. That will come sometime or around after a year to the PlayStation and I'm really looking forward to this game. I don't like third party timed exclusives either from PlayStation or from Microsoft but that is the name of the game in 2020. Now the funny thing is that I remember Phil Spencer Xbox head saying a few years ago that he did not like timed exclusives, let me quote him, paying marketing funds so that another console's base can't play a piece of content doesn't feel like growth. Then he says, I find it completely counter to what gaming is about to lock people away from being able to experience those games or to force someone to buy my specific device on the day that I want them to buy it in order to partake in what gaming is about. Yeah, that right there was our good Phil throwing some unwarranted shade at Sony. But now his team seems to be doing a lot of timed exclusives that Phil seems to be fine with. I'm not saying Sony is not guilty, they are guilty, but at least I've never heard a Sony executive throw any kind of shade towards the competition. There are a lot of things that Phil Spencer does not seem to be following up on. Like for example, at least around 9 titles shown in the Xbox game showcase are not coming to the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. And some of them are major titles like uh, Forza Motorsports, Fable and I think even Stalker 2. These titles are just coming to PC and Series X and what a shame it is as some of them are third party titles. Imagine a third party title that will come to the PC and Series X and won't be on the One X or the One. 
And there are no third party titles that I know of that won't come to the PS4 for the next two years. Now this is either way worse than Sony or most of the titles, at least the interesting ones which we have seen, will not come within the next two years. So again, no reason to upgrade to Series X as of now. Next, I like how beautiful Everwild from Rare Studio looks, but I just don't understand what the gameplay will be. And quite frankly, no one knows, even the developers themselves don't seem to know. Rare themselves are not sure on what the gameplay will be. State of Decay 3, again a CGI trailer which looks good, but not sure about the game because I've tried State of Decay 1 and 2 at launch and they were a buggy mess. Obsidian showed their version of Elder Scrolls Skyrim and I think it will be good and it is based on the world of Pillars of Eternity and I'm a fan of Pillars. The writing is so damn good. So yes, again no gameplay but Avowed could be a huge single player RPG that Xbox needs dearly right now. Now Hellblade 2 is something which I'm really excited about but alas there was no gameplay even for Hellblade 2. And lastly Fable teaser, no gameplay of course but that is fine it's the first time in a long time that they have shown Fable and Playground Games is pretty solid so I'm looking forward to Fable. I've heard some rumors that it may be an MMO but I hope that is not true. That is all that I can highlight right now. My main takeaway is that number one game pass is fantastic value number two don't depend too much on microsoft studio exclusives number three halo infinite at the moment looks like crap and even microsoft cannot deny that number four genuinely excited about stalker 2 hellblade 2 and fable number five phil spencer is sounding more and more like a hypocrite number six there is absolutely no reason to buy an Xbox Series X day one unless you are a hardcore fan. Number 7. The show was definitely better than the last Xbox show however it could have been really exciting if they had shown some gameplay of Hellblade 2 even if it were just 2 minutes. So that right there does it for this week and thanks for watching the gaming news. Stay tuned for another week of gaming news. If you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This is Orca signing out. Have a good day.